Many of you may have been watching these African black magic dance videos recently. A devil or a jinn is dancing here to entertain the villagers. After seeing this thing, a question is rising in everyone's mind. Is this thing real, or how is it possible? Since I am also living in Africa, I will try to talk about it or explain it. Where, why, or who does it, and how is it possible? The Voodoo, Erubian or Egun religious tribes of the coastal regions of Ghana, Togo, Benin, Nigeria and Gambia of the African continent mainly celebrate this festival in their villages. In the world, the black magic of the Africa continent is of a very dangerous, and the poets of the African continent practice black magic of a very dangerous level. There are two types of strange dances that we see here. One is, an empty structure is dancing with puppets or an idol-like object which is called Zangbetu. Another one is a haystack-like object that dances relentlessly, called Kumpo dance. First we will talk about Zangbetu dance, then Kumpo dance. The word Zangbetu means man of night or nightman. Some tribal areas in Ghana Togu or Gambia in Africa used it mainly as a guard or police force in their village. Those who practice black magic are definitely worshipping Satan, and these poets practice their black magic to such an extreme level that the poets make various statues or idol-like objects and encase the devil in them and release them in their village as guards. In those tribal areas, there is no police administration, the Zangbetu is the only administration, the Zangbetu is the only police force. At one time, these tribes arrange a festival and poets gather all Zangbetos, which is called Voodoo Festival. This voodoo festival is attended by the dignitaries of the area and various renowned poets of the country. Those poets bring all Zangbetos which they discovered or controlled and brought along their chiefs. The poets sit on the stage and their disciples conduct the entire dance or festival. These objects are brought and placed in the field and begin started their magic. These Zangbetos are fed first. One of their disciples eats and it is like feeding Zangbetu often seen drinking raw blood or drinking alcohol, and it is seen to be thrown at the Zangbetu. This is the rule of feeding the Zangbetu. After the dance performance, this structure is opened in front of the locals to open the matter in front of them. What is basically inside? This is what you see. The Zangbetu is being opened in front of the presence, yet it is alive or has life in it. Opening it. And finally, nothing is found in here. Sometimes it is seen that the doll is found inside, which is sometimes alive. Sometimes snakes come out, baby crocodiles come out, and sometimes small stones are also seen coming out. Sometimes these poets are seen talking to these Zangbetu or demons whose languages are very obscure, which none but few of them understand. <laughs> Everyone is pulling together, see what comes out from the inside. And statue, this statue is often seen alive, and sometimes still as such. This scenario is more serious. The strangest and deadliest thing here is Kumo Dunce. The Kumpo Dance Festival is most celebrated in Gambia. I will share with you some of my experiences from Africa. I have seen people kill people in this Africa. Through black magic, Many times dead bodies are found without heads, especially children's bodies. I heard that black magic is practiced here with the head of this man. If a body is found without a head, it is certain that someone has killed someone to take the head. A man's head is a great asset for a poet's, through which he acquires various powers of black magic, in subduing these devils or in the practice of black magic. The most terrifying dance for me is this Kumpo Dunce. One thing I noticed is that people from different countries come to these festival. They want to enjoy the event with their own eyes or to see this reality with their own eyes. Who may be content creators, documentary makers or filmmakers or various reporters. Look, this terrible practice of black magic in Africa has been going on for ages. Ages. There are different religions, sects and tribal groups in this Africa. They use black magic in different ways. Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, was attacked by black magic once, and Surah Falak and Surah Nasser were revealed mainly to save him from this black magic. Moreover, 
We can know the existence or truth of this black magic through various surahs and verses of the Quran. This black magic basically involves worshipping the devil and using the devil which is complete blasphemy. In Islam, it is forbidden to practice black magic because to do black magic one has to openly worship Satan. These African tribes in various ways openly worship Satan and it is real. And I think it's possible that these tribes are able to use Satan to do such terrible things. Please comment your opinion about this black magic or Jangbetu dance and Kumpu dance. See you in the next video, inshallah. You can subscribe and follow the Saifrika YouTube channel and Facebook page to enjoy more interesting videos from Africa. If you like the video, please share it.